So this is an introduction to the conservation of linear momentum experiment. We will use the ballistic pendulum for that. This is the launcher, the pendulum itself, which we do not need for this experiment. So we will move it out of the way. We will use the plunger to push in the spring and we will do it to the second position. And then we take a ball and put the ball inside. And then when we shoot the ball, it's going to fall somewhere here. So let's uh, just say, instead of doing it right now, we'll do that later, it falls somewhere here. Then the distance from this edge to here would be the proportional to the speed of the ball as it comes out. So we will measure the distance and it's proportional to the speed. Then in the second part, we will take the this attachment and you put it in here a little bit outside okay and then take the second ball and put it over here well before we do that we push it in and put the first ball inside and put this here now when we pull the trigger the ball will come strike it and because it's tilted at an angle, this ball will go this way, this will go this way. So let's just assume that this ball falls here, and the one that hits it and goes to the left, which is the one coming out, falls here. Then this distance is proportional to its velocity, and this distance is proportional to the velocity of the ball that's inside. So we know the initial speed of the ball from this distance, the speed of the ball that goes this way from this distance and this speed gives us this distance gives us this speed now we want to do momentum conservation so the momentum in the x direction is mv and the masses are all equal of both balls so it's mv therefore this distance is proportional to the momentum of the original ball and this distance is proportional to the momentum of this ball this distance is proportional to the momentum of this ball now, momentum conservation is in x and y directions, so in the x direction, that's the x momentum of the original, we need the x component of this, so we can break this up into two components. So this component in this direction, this is the x direction, this is the y direction, plus and minus y. So this is from here to here would be the x component, and from here to here would be the x component of this momentum momentum of this ball and the sum of these two x's should be equal to this one so the x momentum would be conserved if these this distance and this distance add up to this distance now in the y direction this is the original direction we have this distance from here to here that is the y component of the momentum of this ball and this distance is the y component of the momentum of this ball and these two y components should be equal well and opposite one in the plus y one in the minus y and so the y momentum is also conserved if that is true so what we'll do now is we will shoot the ball and see how we will locate that point and shoot the with the collision and see where we get the two points okay so now we have placed three sheets of paper over here and put a little bit of tape on it so they don't move. And we take carbon paper, which we place over here to take the image when the ball hits it, the carbon paper will leave a spot on the, on the lower paper. And then we will take these and put them here to see as the balls go this way, we get two imprints here. And then we will measure the distances. So let's first take the first. Here's the mark. It fell over here.